Welcome. Let's see how to install PyTorch on Windows Subsystem for Linux while using our GPU. One important thing to know about using NVIDIA GPUs inside WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux is that we're not going to install any drivers inside WSL itself. And that's because WSL relies on the drivers that we have installed on the Windows host. So in order for us to be able to use the GPU inside WSL, we must have the drivers installed on the Windows host. But I'm going to assume that you already have the drivers installed on your Windows machine. What we are going to do is take a look at the NVIDIA control panel in our Windows. Okay, so NVIDIA. And here it is, NVIDIA control panel. And here you can see the version. This is the version of the driver we have installed on the computer, on Windows. And because I have this driver installed on Windows, I'm also going to have access to it inside WSL. So with that out of the way, and knowing that we're not going to install any drivers in WSL, let's move on and start our terminal. To see the list of distros I currently have on WSL, we can run WSL-L. And as you can see, I currently have no distros, so let's see which options are available. And these are the available options, and I'll install Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, so Ubuntu is up and running, and now we can run NVIDIA SMI, or System Management Interface. And as you can see, this is our driver version inside WSL, inside Ubuntu, and you can see that it matches what we saw in Windows. Okay, so we didn't have to install any drivers in WSL, we rely on the ones we have on Windows. By the way, over here, we can see the latest CUDA version that's supported by this driver. So keep this number in mind, it's going to be helpful in a minute. Let's now go to pytorch.org. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see that the latest CUDA version that's supported by PyTorch is this one, CUDA 11.8. And as we just saw, that's also the latest CUDA version that's supported by our driver. So we're good in this regard, and all we have to do is install this version of CUDA, CUDA 11.8. Now the next logical thing to do would be to go to developer.nvidia.com then choose downloads and here we can see CUDA toolkit and here we have download now but as you can see this will install CUDA toolkit 12.2 this version is too new it's not the version we want the version we want is 11.8 so we're not going to install this version of CUDA what we are going to do instead is go to developer.nvidia.com forward slash CUDA toolkit archive. And from here we can download all the versions of CUDA. So the one we want is 11.8, so that's what I'm going to choose. We're going to install CUDA on WSL, which means that our operating system is Linux. The architecture is this one, x86-64. And the distribution would be WSL Ubuntu. And for the installer type, I'm going to go with Deb Local. And here we can see the steps that we need to follow to install the CUDA toolkit on WSL. But notice that they have a small bug here, a small mistake in these steps that we're going to encounter in a minute. So keep an eye out for that, but let's start following these steps. So this is the first step. And then the second step. And the third step. And this one is a pretty long one, so we're going to need some patience. Okay, so this is done, and now we can move on to the fourth step. But here we're going to encounter a small issue in the fourth step. So let's try to run it. And as you can see, what we got as reply was that the public GPG key does not appear to be installed. But that's exactly what the next step is going to do for us. So what we need to do is to first run the fifth step and then rerun the fourth one. Okay, so let's run the fifth step, this one. And now we should be able to successfully run the fourth step.
So now it worked and we can move on. So next we need to act update. And finally we can install CUDA. So this is done and CUDA was successfully installed. The next step is going to be to add the folder to which CUDA was installed to the system's path. So first I open this folder, the folder to which CUDA was installed. So this is the folder and if I run pwd, I can see it here. So I'm going to copy this path. And now I'll edit the .bashrc file to add this folder to the system's path. So I'll scroll to the very bottom of the file, and here we're going to run export, and we want to update the path system variable, so path, and it's going to be equal to its current value, so equals dollar sign $path, and then colon, and then I can paste the path I just copied, which is the folder to which CUDA was installed. So let's save the file with Ctrl S and exit with Ctrl X. I now reboot the WSL virtual machine for this change to take effect. And let's wait for a second or two and then log back in. And if we now echo the current value of the path system variable, we can see here at the very end the CUDA installation folder. So this is fine. Now we can run nvcc dash dash version. And this is the CUDA version we have installed in WSL, and as expected, it is version 11.8. All that's left is to go ahead and install PyTorch. But first, let's check our Python version. And we have Python 3.10, which is quite new and should do the job. Next, I'm going to install pip, the Python package manager. And now we can get back to pytorch.org. And for the operating system, I'm going to choose Linux. As a package manager, I'm going to use pip. The language is Python, and we're going to use CUDA 11.8. So here is the command we need to run. And let's run it. So PyTorch was installed, and if we now run Python, import torch, and get the CUDA device name. We can see that it also has GPU support. 